Hi, I'm Mary Campisi, and this is my mother, Verna. Mom, say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. And today we're going to make pizzelles. Uh, when I uh, first wrote about the pizzelle and, uh, and, and gave Pop Benito that uh, penchant for being the one to bake them and create them, I, I guess I thought because I grew up with them, everyone knew what one was. But that isn't the case, so uh, my apologies for that. Uh, we are going to show you how today, and my mom is here offering her expert <laughs> advice, tricks. I'm just going to be basically reading the directions, and, and she'll provide some commentary, and, and I think that it will be a fun time, and they will taste delicious. So here we go. We're going to start. Mom? Okay. Uh, I hope you enjoy the uh, finished product when we're done. Uh, Visual, virtually, Mom, because they're not really going to get to taste them. Oh, that's right. Okay, move that. And my eggs. Um, you use six eggs, room temperature, because if they're too cold, they're not going to beat up well, and they'll be very stiff. Okay, Mary's going to empty the six eggs in the bowl for me. Okay. All right. Now, you have to mix them on medium to high speed. You know, I always start with medium and then I go to high for a good smell. Okay. Now, um, so everybody, oh, light and fluffy. Six eggs beaten, five minutes. We just get that there. Now, so according to this, six eggs beaten in there. Mom did it for five minutes. Now we're going to, I, I just don't know if, if you can if they can hear when we're beating this stuff. So we're just gonna talk and then if not, we'll, we'll add in afterwards. So now you're gonna put in the sugar? Yes, slowly. Yes, slowly, you're gonna pour. Beat sugar gradually into <laughs> eggs in mixer bowl. Add margarine, vanilla, beat until smooth. Okay, you gotta, you, you'll tell them the how much later? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what would you like me to do? Start just putting pour. the sugar in? Slowly. Good? Yeah. All right, next up, mm -hmm. one cup of margarine cooled. Are right, you ready, Mom? Mm -hmm. I have to do it this put way. Whole, okay. Th this, you're going to put the whole thing. Okay. It's just the sugar you have to go oh, slowly. So, so we heated it on the stove and then we cooled it. Did you? Oh. You didn't put it outside, right? No. Because sometimes I do, though, if it's. Well, cold. if it's. Because we live in Ohio and it's cold. You're going to tell them that. You're going to have the whole recipe when we're done, so don't worry. Don't try it. You want to catch up. Okay, two tablespoons of vanilla. Now let's turn that off, Mom. Go ahead and give them your spiel about how okay. anise is the only yeah. real Italian. Go and ahead. Do, do most it. Italians like the anise. Except for me. <laughs> except for my family. So we use the vanilla. Now, it says two tablespoons of vanilla, but you don't have to use two tablespoons of anise. Now you're going to buy extract of anise, and that is pretty potent. So I would go with one tablespoon and see how you like it. You know, it's going to be a trial and error thing. If you like to put one tablespoon of uh, anise and one tablespoon of uh, vanilla, that's okay too. Oh, that sounds gross. No, it's not bad. I've done it. And it makes it sweeter. And, uh, it, uh, but it'll be good. Whichever way you uh, want to go, if you want to go vanilla, just strictly vanilla, that's okay. Two tablespoons. We'll give you the recipe. Don't, don't try and write it and hurry and everything because we'll give you the recipe after we're done. Okay, now... That's that's okay. Do we just put that in there? You don't have to mix it again, no. dude. Okay. So now yeah. we have the flour. Very Mom small. has already you already measured it. Wait, yes. <laughs> I'll turn that off for me. Well, I'm gonna tell them after. We'll tell them now. Oh, okay. That so you measured it with three and a half cups of flour, four, four teaspoons of baking powder, right? Mm -hmm. And it's in here. Now we're gonna gradually put it in. Yes. Here. And make sure that you stir that so that the uh, Baking powder is uh, distributed even, uh, evenly. Is that good? 
ってるの俺ねなあビール Okay. okay, good. All right. You get this out of the way. My mother likes everything to clean as she goes. Yes. Like me. Mom, what are you doing there? Yeah. Don't ask me what I'm doing because I've just been doing them for six or seven years. Because mom has probably like one of the original Pitzel makers,、mm -hmm. the really old ones. You used to have to kind of oil. Because brush they it with, brush it with oil. Yeah. But the ones that they, well, I believe the ones that sell now, the one that I have is a non stick, which is wonderful because you don't have to do that anymore. It, it really doesn't stick at all. I'm just going to show them, see if I can show them. Yeah, I don't want to get burned. This is what it looks like. Okay. So it's very hot. Be careful. And here we go. Oh, look who showed up. Who? Well, we're not ready to bake till we get the. I have to put the wax paper. I'm going to put the wax paper out. Right. I have to stay in this little thing so everybody can see us. I know. But I was going to move the stuff that we're not using. Yeah. That's the timer. You better look. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is put some wax paper out. Okay. Like, we'll start with that, okay? Yeah. All right.、Uh -huh. Now, this is the first couple are always a, a test, which I will eat them, or Cooper, a rescue, will eat them. And I use my finger to get the dough off of the spoon. Now, if that bothers you, you go ahead and use the spoon. I'm going to turn、spoons. so they can see it. How about like that? Better? There you go. Okay. All right.、Mm -hmm. Now, Mom. So, the old one was about 20 seconds. I'm not sure with this one. Yours aren't as hot. This isn't as hot. Now, I do need a paper towel wet so that I can always clean my fingers. See, is that okay? Yeah, I'm dry too. See, what, this is what, no, just, I just、okay. keep it wet right here. All right, Mom, we're going to be about 28 seconds. We're going to check. Well, you're going to tell me. I will. I will. I need a fork. Be careful when you take them out. Here, I might need a, that or a tom. Here. 30 seconds. We gotta check them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay. This Now, is too You、dark. can either make them dark. Some people like. I have a friend that he only likes them very dark. No, I don't like that. Too、um, dark. Yeah. Now, well, how many seconds was that? That was 30, so we need to go 26. Oh, you're gonna tell. I have a counter. No, they. Well, I used to get the. Let me see, my watch has a second hand. Here we go. Is the size okay? That's a big one, Mom. But that's okay. Do a little smaller. Okay, so we're going to close it up. 20, 26 seconds. So, in 26 seconds, we're going to check it. When you open it up, it should. Mom, be careful, you don't get burned. When you open it up, it shouldn't stick to the top. It should just be there and it should be a little bit. Well, if it does, I can always brush it. You're really not supposed to use a fork, though. No. Because you don't want to scratch it. Yeah, you'll scratch it. So I use these little, how about these little jobbers? Yeah. Like this? Okay, try it now. Well, it's 20. Right. My s i r o n should be hot. Hey, hey, hey. It's still too hot. hot. Because your iron got very hot. Hey. All right. Still too hot. Is、yep. this visible? There we go. So, what did you have? How many Don't、seconds? worry, that's not going to stop. That won't stop me. I'm still going to be eating them. You had them 20 seconds? No, that was 26, I think, or something. We probably need to go, what, 24? 22? I'm just going to go by my own judge. What do you do? Just push just it out? Just leave it go. Yeah, I don't lock it every time, Mom. When we're done, we're going to give them the recipe. Well, before, I'll put it, I'll print it out and put it oh, on. Oh, that's good. Mom, it's still, still too much. That your iron got very hot.、That's, it is, well, we had it on and off, too. That's okay. That's the size. Just like this, huh? That's the size, that small size. They make those for weddings. 
Oh. This is too far from my right arm. You want me to move you a little bit? You notice that I put them a little bit toward the back so that they come pretty even? I didn't notice that, Mom. Is that a trick? How are they? Well, they're a little well done, but that's not even here. Okay. Get it. Okay, Mom. Go ahead and talk about the storage again. Okay. The storage, when we're making them, I put them on wax paper until they're cool. Then I stack them <coughs> in small stacks, maybe not more than six, so they don't break. And then uh, when you're all done, completed every one of them, then go ahead and I use a dress box. I like a dress box because it's dry, it's clean. I just put wax paper in the dress box and put my pastels in there. Don't use plastic or you're going to get moldy, wet pastels and they'll be soft and they won't taste crispy and good. Now, if you find that your weather uh, might be damp, uh, go ahead and put them in the oven, light the oven, turn it off, make it hot, and put them on a cookie sheet and they'll crisp right up. When it's humid? Yeah, when it's a humid day. Or if you find that your pizzelles have gotten uh, soft and maybe you want them nice and crispy, just go ahead and light the oven and then just put them in there to crisp up. Ma, you know that's too much work for me. You know I would No, know. and you'll enjoy them. You'll enjoy them. <laughs> uh, you can do many things with pizzelles. You can put ice cream in the middle. You can buy uh, a roller that uh, as soon as you get the patella oh, you can I think roll I have it one and make a cannoli. You can do a lot of things. Use your imagination and good luck to you. <laughs> I had a roller. Oh, I think I used it for something else. I don't have it anymore. I think I used it to for the wreath at Christmas. No. It's just like a dowel is all it is. I know. Mom. Some people use a clothespin. They do. Clothespin? Mm -hmm. What's that, Monk? They, they, you mean the wooden ones? You don't yeah. mean the plastic well, job? Well, of course well. not. In my day, <laughs> plastic came out later. But in my day, it was all wooden. And uh, they even sell those anymore? Huh? I wonder. I wonder if they even sell those. Well, anymore. of course they do, and I have lots of them. Of course you do, Mom. I bet you bleach them too to clean them, don't you? Mm -hmm. There we go. And let's see here. So this is just a picture of Benito doing this mm -hmm. and giving them away as, as gifts to all of his friends, especially Lily. Yeah, that's right. She loves it. He always gives her six. Well, yeah, she puts them in a little bag. It makes me laugh. Okay, we doing all right, Mom? Very good. You can take a picture of the Patels when we're done. Are they good? Yes. Yeah. Don't stack them when they're still warm. No. So I think we I have. When they're cool. <coughs> Let's get this last little bit in, and then we'll we'll say goodbye. I'll make sure you use the plant. I will. I will. <coughs> Big mess. Here. Okay, we have a minute. This is all we have left. So it took us. I don't know how long we've been doing. How long did you say? An hour? Go to us. An to hour, finish? whether they're big or small. Gonna take it an hour. From the time you start mixing the ingredients? Yeah. Well? Yeah. Okay. No, the baking. The baking. Just the baking part. Mixing ingredients is nothing. Oh, look at that cute little jobber. Mm -hmm. There. And there. They are, um, once you start eating them, though, they're, they're addicting. They're addicting. They could put ice cream in between, too. Make a sandwich. I like them just plain. Yeah. So, all right, Mom, you will have anything to say in parting? Because we'll put the recipe up so everybody can see no, it. No, good luck and uh, good eating and uh, enjoy. And it was nice giving you the recipe. <laughs> Mary, will, Mary will make sure that you get it. Bye now. Bye.